Hey what's up guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and I'm back with another video tutorial on C++ programming and fundamentals. So in this video tutorial we'll be understanding the concept of operators and we'll see some type of operators. In the previous video tutorial we saw what variables and data types are and why we use variables. So if you have missed that video you can check it out. So in the previous video tutorial we saw that these variables can help us perform certain operations on them and we can do some calculations to get our results according to our necessity so in c++ an operator is a symbol that tells the compiler to perform specific mathematical logical or any sort of manipulations or operations on these operands so essentially an operator is just a symbol which is used along with variables and it is particularly used to perform certain operations on these variables now depending upon the type of operation these operators are further categorized as arithmetic operator relational operators logical operators assignment operators bitwise operators and miscellaneous operators so the first four op type of operators listed down on the screen are pretty important and we'll be using them on on a wide scale in our programming language now the bitwise and the miscellaneous operators are not used and they are very program specific that is that is they are not used much so what we'll do is we'll quickly go through all these operators and see what they do and then we'll hop into a program and we'll actually see how these operators work so let's start with the first type of operator that is arithmetic operator so let's assume that a variable holds value 10 and variable b holds value 20 so here are the arithmetic operators so as you can see we have the first column which has the symbols that denote these operators then we have the second column which gives the description about that operator and in third column we also have an example so the first one is a plus operator that is addition operator which adds to operands so the example is pretty clear where we have a plus b which will give us the result 30 since a value is 10 and b value is 20 now similar to addition we have subtraction multiplication and division operator which does pretty much what it actually sounds that is the subtraction operator subtracts two variables that is one variable from another and the multiplication operator multiplies two operands or two variables division operator performs division wherein the numerator is divided by the denominator now the fifth one is a modulus operator so when we say b mod a it will give us zero the reason is that it will give remainder as output so we know 20 is completely divisible by 10 so this results in the answer as 0 that is the remainder is 0 so modulus operator is used when we are interested in the remainder the last two operators are called unary operators because they operate only on a single variable so the second last one is known as the increment operator so it increases the integer value by 1 so if you write a plus plus it will give an output of 11 if you print the value of a after doing that a plus plus statement and the last one is a decrement operator which decreases the integer value by 1 so if you write a minus minus and if a was previously 10 then the final answer or the a value would change to 9. So that's it for arithmetic operators. Let's see the assignment operators. Now here again we assume that a holds 10 and b holds 20. So the first operator is assignment operator. So as you can see the working in the example where we have another variable c then we have the assignment operator and we have a plus b. So here what happens is the answer that is a plus b that is 10 plus 20 is assigned to the variable c. So the assignment value is always from the right side operand to the left side operand. That is the right side value always goes to the left side value. Then we have the AND assignment operator. So it adds right operand to the left operand and assigns the result to the left operand. No need to get confused about it. You can see the example as well. The statement is as written a plus equal to b which essentially means a equal to a plus b. So a initially was 10 and now a would be a plus b that is a, a would be 10 plus 20 which is 30. Similarly we have subtract and assignment operator. So I have written the example as shown b minus equal to a which essentially means b is equal to b minus a. Then we have the multiply and assignment operator. Again we have divide and assignment operator which pretty much works similar to the first two three assignment operators. Last one is a modulus operator which again operates similarly to rest of these operators. So you can just have a look at the examples so that you understand how they actually work. Now let's see the relational operators. Now relational operators are used to check conditions. Usually they are accompanied with if else statements and we haven't yet actually discussed about these if else statements. So just for the sake of this video tutorial understand that these relational operators are usually included with if else statements to check conditions. So the first one is a double equal to operator that is it will basically return true value if a and b are equal. So in this case a and b are not equal to each other that is a holds 10 and b holds 20. So a equal equal to is not true as you can see in the example. Then we have not equal to operator. Now this is exactly opposite to the first operator. So a not equal to b is true that is the reason why this answer would be true. Then we have greater than operator. 
so we know that a is not greater than b so a greater than b statement is false so the output would be false again we have less than less than operator then we have greater than equal to and less than equal to operator and the output of these operators is usually a boolean value that is true or false moving ahead with the next operators so the next type of operators are logical operators so in this case we'll assume the value of variable a which will hold a binary value 1 and the variable b will hold a binary value 0 so the way the logical operators work is they perform logical and or and not operations so the first one is a logical and oper operation so if you don't know what a logical and or and not operations are you can check out the video tutorial on boolean algebra which, which we have on our channel so i'll put the link in the description as well so basically when you take a logical and operation between two variables the output is true only if both the variables are 1. In this case a is 1 and b is 0 so the output would be false. So the second one is a logical OR operator and in this case the output would be 1 if any of the variable value is 1. So here a value is 1 and b value is 0 so since one of them is 1 the output is true. The last operator is the logical NOT operator and it is used to reverse the logical statement or output of any condition. So if a condition is true if we apply a NOT operation it will turn it to false. So we know a and b is false so if you apply a logical NOT operation it will turn it to true. So that is what is shown in the example. The next operator is bitwise operator and it operates on binary input. So assume that variable a holds the value 60 and we also have the binary version of that decimal number 60 and variable b holding the decimal value 13 with its respective binary value. So a bitwise operator particularly operates on single bits. So a binary AND operation between a and b would give us the following output as shown in the example. If we take a binary operation between the binary values of a and b you can calculate it yourself and you'll get with the same result similar to this binary and operator we have another two operators that is binary or and binary xor operator now the fourth operator is the complement operator which basically inverts the binary values or binary digits which is also known as flipping of bits so if there is a zero in the binary it will convert it to one and all the ones will be converted to zero then the last two are binary left shift and binary right shift operators respectively now in binary left shift operator the left operand value is moved left by the number of bits specified by the right operand so as you can see in the example we have a then we have binary left shift operator and we have 2. This essentially means that every bit in the value of A is moved 2 times to the left. So you can see the initial value of A which is on top given in yellow and when we move each bit 2 times towards the left we get the new value which is shown in the example. Now similar to this we have binary right shift operator which works pretty much similar but in this case the left operand value is moved right by the number of bits specified on the right operand. So here the bits are shifted to the right. The last type of operators are some miscellaneous operators which do not fall in any of the other categories. Uh, we won't be actually using these operators a lot but then I still thought that you should know them. The first one is the size of operator which essentially returns the size of a variable. So for example if we declare integer variable int a and we say size of a as shown in the example it will return 4. So we know an integer variable usually takes up 4 bytes of memory space in the RAM. So that is what it actually returns. And the second one is a conditional operator. So here the expression is given on the left wherein the condition is actually part where we have an actual condition. For example if we have two variables a and b so for example a condition would be something like a greater than b or a less than b something like that then we have a or b or for example the condition would be x greater than y question mark x colon y so if condition is true then the x value is returned otherwise the y value is returned you'll see this when we actually implement it if we actually use this operator so with that being said let's see an example in c++ program wherein we'll try to use few operators on different variables Okay, so I have my dev C++ ID running and I'll just create a new file. So I've written the basic structure of a C++ program. Now I'll declare two variables int a comma b. I'll assign file to a using the assignment operator. Then in the next statement I'll say a++ which is basically the increment operator. And we'll say c out value of a is again an insertion operator and the variable a so basically what i'm doing is i'm trying to print the value of a after i increment it using the increment operator so let me just quickly save this and compile and run this code 
so it's saying the compilation results are zero errors and zero warnings so i can just go ahead and run this code okay so there you go with the output so the value of a is six so as, as you can see we first assigned five to a and then we did an increment operator which increased the value of the variable by plus one so this was about the arithmetic operators and assignment operators so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood the concept of operators and how they are used on variables to perform different operations we'll see a lot of programs wherein we'll be using variables and different type of operators depending upon the type of question that is asked so there will be more practice for you guys in those videos if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when you upload the next video peace